sometimes we have to look at things from a different perspective in order to understand the changes we need to make for our deeper future. Can you do that? Can you look at things from a different perspective? Or will you always consider just your point of view? Can you put yourself in someone else's shoes? Or will you always consider what benefits only you? Once upon a time, the world was governed by women. Some say it's fact, others say it's myth. If it was fact, we would have to rewrite the history books. But whether it is fact or whether it is fiction, we need to understand the reality of today. Today, 50% of the world is women. We are not the minority, we are not the majority, we are the equal. We should not need special gender policies. We should receive the same. Oh, God, I can hear you already. It's another feminist speech. You've already stopped listening. You've already decided to consider things from just your point of view. But let's face facts. We have to have women, because we're the only ones who can have babies. Science has not yet created a solution for that, nor have we convinced men to go through the pain of childbirth. <laughs> the hunter killer instincts of men. It's no longer needed. The power, control and egos of the male species is in effect leading to the destruction of mankind. The political, economic, social, cultural incompetence of men is leading to a war with a world without peace. Increasing wars, increasing instability, depletion of natural resources, increased climate change challenges, increased atrocities against the human rights of men, women and children. Even religion has been corrupted by men. There's evidence and there's statistics to support my views. However, we're not going to go into those arguments now. We need solutions for our deeper future. I'm going to apologize in advance. I am going to be very cruel and I am going to be very direct. Time is running out. I am not prepared to wait the predicted 117 years for parity for women. We know that quotas, positive discrimination, legislation and blaming women for not applying for the jobs is not working. We need radical recommendations. So, as we have discussed, men have little or no use in our future world. We have enough technology and innovation to totally replace them. Come on. We can fill the sperm banks and women even have toys. Justifying the existence of men is becoming more and more difficult. So, you won't be laughing in a minute. So, in certain circumstances, women will be given the right to carry out selective abortions based on gender. They will have the right to terminate the male fetus. Male infanticide can be carried out where a woman considers that she has sufficient sons and no longer wishes to maintain any more. Boys will be educated to the age of 12 and thereafter be put into marriage, domestic service or low paid jobs. Accepting that women 
are more competent and have greater value than men. Women, men will be paid at least 20% 20 less. They will receive pensions of at least 30% less, if at all. Less than 2% of CEOs will be able to be men. Less than 15% of non-executive board directors. In all cases, women will choose the most suitable candidate from their network of friends and family. We have to make sure that men feel included and legislation is created to protect them. But by ensuring that we have less than 25% men in the decision-making process, we can ensure that none of this legislation is implemented. The control of men must be restricted. No land rights, no inheritance rights. There will be no need for women to carry their husband's surname, nor for women to be faithful. However, in certain countries, adulterous men will be stoned to death or judged by a solely female court of law. Women will not be encouraged to beat their husbands in order to control them. However, if they do, few prosecutions will take place. Religion must be managed by women, because as for sure, God was a woman because women are the only creators of life. My recommendations can go on, but I can see you're already shocked. You are ready to burn me at the stake like all women who have dared to speak out against the injustice of men in the past. But now I ask you, walk through my words and replace the word male with female, the word man with woman, and the word boy with girl. And this is the reality that the majority of women live in today on this planet to a greater or lesser extent. This is not the future, this is the now. This is not the equal, this is the unjust. And is it not fair that women can now turn the tables on the men? Can you see what happens when you turn sex on its head? Can you see what happens when you look at things from a different perspective? My perspective. I have no qualifications. I am not an academic. I got here today by attending the University of Life, a course on which I was beaten, raped discriminated against in the workplace, socially and politically, just because I was born female, a label that has judged me incompetent throughout my life. And yet, despite that prejudice, I have retained my love, my respect and my admiration for the majority of men around me. Because I know if we are to make change, then we will need the strong men to be the equal drivers of that change. You see, weak men fear strong women. It shows in their insecurity and their inability to play the game fairly. They have to discriminate to win. Only in this game, we will all be losers. Because we only have one humankind. We only have one planet on which we should have all been born equal. I believe in democracy, but there is no democracy where 50% of the population is treated as the minority, where women are given unequal voting shares due to the corrupt position of appointments, the process of appointments, the old boys' networks. Whether you were born a boy or a girl, conceived a boy or a girl, you should have equal rights to love, to life,
to education, to health, to prosperity, to opportunity. 50% of the planet belongs to women. We do not want control. We do not want power. For a sustainable future, we are willing to compromise. We just want parity, equity and equality, where equal means 50-50, and equity means we are equal, but we are different. Next time you make a decision, any decision, turn it on its head. Would you be willing to accept the same decision if you were born with the opposite sex gene? And women, we cannot lay the, lay the blame solely at the feet of the men. We have to take responsibility. When you see injustice, speak out. When you see that we are not being given the equality or the equal that we deserve, take it because we will never be given it. If we do not make change together as strong men and strong women, then I'm sorry. Time is running out. We will see the extinction of men. Gandhi said, you must be the change you want to see. Maddie says, you must be the change you want to see. No excuses. Thank you. Thank you.